Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do, um, I don't know what you call this, favorite Amazon purchases. Um, this is going to be sort of like an all-time favorite. I went back over the last couple of years where I have been shopping on Amazon a lot and I have made a list of all of my favorite purchases. These are things that were instrumental in my life and uh, you'll see why very soon. Um, I will link them all down below if you want to check them out for yourself. Um, I'm only going to link to the Canadian uh, website, but um, if you're struggling to find them on the American website, what you can do is just copy the title of the product and paste it into the US Amazon.com and it should come up with the same thing, if not very similar, maybe with a different brand name on it. Usually it's the same seller, so just as a tip. Um, all right. Let's get into the list. I've got my phone here and uh, I should say that this was requested by one of you guys to know what all my favorite Amazon purchases were, so this is for you. Um, I'm just going to start with the top thing on the pile. Some of these I can like physically show you and other things you'll see a little clip of b-roll, other things you'll just see the screenshot of what it is on the website because it's really hard to show you. Um, so let's start with um, this little thingy right here. This was supposed to be for me. Um, it is like a scalp scrubber. I'm not going to scrub my head. It's only going to make my hair poofier because it's dry. You're supposed to use it in the shower to like massage your scalp to like help work in the shampoo and conditioner and massage your scalp to sti stimulate hair growth. Um, not that I need any of that, but I just like how it feels. And I wasn't going to use it in the shower. It was sort of like um, one of those like ASMR type things where I just really like the feel of it on my head um, and I like the sound it makes, you know, anyway. So, in fact, this was supposed to be for me, but my dog likes it more than I do. And yes, I did brush her with it and then brush my head. We share a lot, okay? So it has these little silicone nubbies, and I will say my dog is terrified of combs and brushes. The second I pick one up, she runs the other direction, but if I have this anywhere near me or in my hand, she sits down on the ground and won't move from my feet until I brush her with it. And then she follows me around for a while wanting more. All right. Next thing on my list is these. So this doesn't look like much, but inside this little mesh bag is these little uh, reusable makeup rounds. So these are made from a bamboo fiber and they are very soft. They're like a terry cloth type of material. So they're really good at scrubbing, but they're gentle. Um, I have, uh, probably not in here. Oh yeah, maybe I do. I have some like organic cotton ones okay and you can see these ones are still like quite stained from my makeup and they don't lay flat again when you wash them but the bamboo ones come out perfectly clean and they're both washed in the same bag like I don't understand so they come out really clean they're really soft still they're not stained with my makeup i love them um they do take off my makeup just fine sometimes i use them to like wash my face even if i can't find a face cloth um i love them so much i think you get 16 in the package along with the bag and honestly these are an excellent replacement for like um single use cotton rounds um, and I especially like that they come out clean when you wash them. Okay, so if you are a crafter, you know how expensive going to Michael's is for supplies. Especially when you can't use the coupons on the things you need to buy. So I have been getting my Cricut mats uh, in packs of three at that. 
um, on the Amazon uh, website and I've got the strong grip ones as well as these are uh, light grip ones. They come in like this is light blue for light grip and then I have a purple one for the strong grip ones. Um, they you get them in the three pack for like $22 um, and they're like that much for one from Michaels and you can't use coupons at Michaels on Cricut products because Cricut bans it. So I've decided that I'm just going to get all my mats and blades from Amazon from now on because it's so much cheaper and you can buy them in multi-packs. Alright, so Amazon really used to be a place, especially in Canada, where you could really only get books. And I still go to Amazon a lot for books, uh, mostly because I am sort of boycotting going to Indigo and Chapters after they started stealing artwork from artists and they are incredibly expensive in there so I just stopped going there. Um, I also find their customer service is quite rude but um, I have been buying my books on Amazon for a while. This is one that I just, you know, when you have a book and you're just like, I don't know like, I didn't know I needed this book until it existed and I was able to read it. So, um, this is Plus, or Plus Plus, I don't know how you should read it, by, um, well, it's, who's it by? Oh, it's, uh, edited by Bethany Rudder, and the foreword is by Nicolette, Nicolette Mason. Um, she was one of the co-owners of Prem, also a blogger, and this is Gabby Fresh on the front, so, like... Basically, it is a book of plus size style and in, like inspiration. Um, essentially, they're like I don't know how you would explain it. It's like cool photos, like Instagram photos, and then a little bio on each person and their Instagram handle or their name. Um, I followed, ended up following so many people out of this book that I still follow now. Um, I'm happy that I was able to get it because it wasn't really available anywhere, um, but then it came out in like soft cover um, and it was available on Amazon, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Alright, so there's a few things that I can't physically show you, but don't worry, I got some b-roll for you. So number one is my fairy lights. I got these wired lights that wrap around my gallery wall behind my bed and I am in love with them. I don't really do like fussy decorative things and um, I really just am not like a decorator. I, I, I like things for function more than beauty in terms of like how my space looks and when I put these up on my wall I fell in love. It is sort of like acts as a nightlight, so I turn them on before I get into bed so I don't trip over anything. Um, they can go much brighter than they actually are, so they act as extra light. And um, they just, at night when I turn them on, it adds a little bit of soft lighting so I can keep reading. Um, and I just, I really like them. I love how they look. Uh, I couldn't, like... I can't really describe. I wanted ones that like plugged into the wall and weren't battery operated, um, which a lot of fairy lights are, especially the ones that are on the thin wire um, that sort of like bend and, and twist around stuff. Um, but I have these ones, they have different settings. There's an app so you can control it from your phone via Bluetooth. I don't know. I just, I love them and I don't know what I would do without them because they just add so much joy to my life. Who knew fairy lights could do that, you know? Alright, next up is my bed frame. And you guys know the struggle that I went through when my IKEA bed broke. Um, it was pretty traumatic. I mean, it, it's not the first bed I've broken. Um, they've all been wood ones. This is a completely metal frame that I got. So it is, what's it called? It's like this Zenus. 14 inch elite smart base mattress foundation so it replaces the need for a box spring it's high enough that you can store stuff underneath also high enough that um, you don't feel like you're sitting on the floor as a fat person I don't want to feel like a baby deer getting off the floor because there's a lot of me to haul up and I'm not all that graceful 
So uh, this thing is rated, well I can't see it right now because I'm just looking at a screenshot, but um, this thing is rated to hold like over a thousand pounds or something like that of distributed weight and it makes me feel very safe and secure. You barely had to do anything to put it get together. It came in a huge box. It wasn't that heavy, it was just huge. And it was folded in half and then you just had to like fold the legs out, um, fold the bed out and then screw in some like wing nut things. It was super easy. It took less than 20 minutes to put it together and set it down and then put my mattress on it and it's great. It also um, is very supported in the middle so it doesn't sag when you're sleeping straight down the middle alone. <laughs> um, yeah, I just honestly, I love it so dang much. So um, with all of the tools and things in my studio, I have to keep them somewhere. And uh, that somewhere is not in a little pot where they can get knocked over all the time. So I got these wire grid things. I don't know really what they're called. They're probably just wall decor. But what I did was I got these grid things. There was two in the pack. I still haven't used the other one because I don't have anywhere to put it. Um, and I got some S hooks and just hung all my scissors and um, hung like baskets and things so I have a place to put my rulers. Honestly, being able to get my scissors up and out of my space has been so much of a game changer. It gives me so much space on my work table to put other crap that I don't need there. Um, honestly, I'm looking at it now, it holds all my like curve rulers, it holds my big heavy metal scissors that I barely use. I have a basket full of like punches and tape and things like that that just hangs from it. It's so good and I love it so much. It's been so helpful. Um, I just need to find another use for the other one because like I said, I don't just like hang stuff up to hang stuff up most of the time. That's what my bulletin board is for. So, Alright, last but not least is my sewing machine. I bought it on Amazon two Christmases ago now and this thing has changed how I make products to be honest. Before my sewing machine was probably 10 years old and it skipped stitches when I sewed leather. It was not meant to sew leather at all and this sewing machine is by Singer. It's a heavy duty machine. I just got the cheapest version because I knew I wasn't going to need any fancy stitches or anything like that. I need to go backwards, forwards, do a zigzag, maybe a buttonhole sometimes. I don't need it to do anything fancy. So I didn't spend that much money on it. I think when I got it, it was $130. And the last time I checked, it was now $180. And to be honest, I would pay $180 for it now. Um, it is so good. It sews through leather. I don't even have special needles on there. It's so strong and pushes through the leather. I've never had it skip stitches. I've never really had like put too much in there where it couldn't sew through it and it has changed how I make things. I used to have to put paper in the machine so that it could go through. Um, I don't have to do that. I did get an even feed foot as well which has been revolutionary for sewing leather for me. Um, which just means it grabs the top and the bottom pieces at the same rate so it doesn't stretch it out and it feeds through so you don't end up with like a wonky chunk at the end. Um, and you don't really need that except if you're sewing like only knits or only leather, like things that stretch. Um, but using this heavy duty sewing machine has changed my life and how I make things. I don't fear sewing now anymore when I'm making things. I used to break needles all the time. Now I've broken a couple since I got the machine, but that was more on my stupidity and trying to force stuff than actually like the machine and it just now the only thing about it is I wish there was more sort of space um, in the like the reaching arm bit um, because the way I sit it's like quite chunky and it's hard to see into the machine it's very boxy so you can't like see what you're doing sometimes so I have to sit down low in my seat um, but you kind of just make it work and uh, I really think that like I could do anything with this thing. Um, mix that with my serger and I am good to go. I am set. I just, I don't know, I can't speak any more highly of it. I never really thought I was a singer sewing machine person. You know, usually when they get, 
when people get singers, they're fanatical about them. Um, I was pretty, you know, not loyal to the brand. Uh, but now I'm pretty sure I would stick with a singer um, because it just seems so reliable and helpful and um, I don't know, I can't, I don't really know how to describe my love for my sewing machine. Alright everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stick around and watch even more videos from me. Uh, if you have any other requests like this one was for a specific type of video, leave it in the comments below and I will try to accommodate. Not always, because sometimes you guys make pretty wacky requests. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!